So today I'm going to show you how to use our Sigma Spectrum IV pump um, so that when you get out to the floor you'll be able to use it without problems. So to start, the first thing I want to do is turn the pump on and I can do that by pressing this on off button right here and that's going to wake the pump up. And then what I can do is load my tubing. So I have my IV tubing here, and essentially I just pop that in. That's gonna open the door. And you can see there's four touch points. So the first touch point is up at the top, and then you have two, three, and four. And so when you're putting that in, you wanna be sure you're hitting all those touch points, and it's gonna show you. It'll turn green once all those have been hit, and then it'll tell you to close the door. All right, so <clears throat> now what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our care area. So the care area should always coordinate with the area that you're working in. So I'm gonna hit med surge, and I, I have that selected. You can use these soft keys here to kind of move up and down to select your area. Once I've selected my area, I'll hit okay. And then you can select your, your drugs. So, do. All right, so I just typed in IV fluid for IV fluids, which I'm going to run. But if you wanted to type in um, vancomycin or um, ANSA for anything like that, you would just type in the first few letters and then it'll give you a list of uh, medications to choose from. So I'm gonna pick IV fluids plain. There's also IV fluid with additive and IV fluid with um, potassium. But I'll pick IV fluid plain and you, again, you can select by using the up and down arrows here. Once you've moved to your selection, you hit okay. And then it's gonna ask you about entering the rate, volume to be infused, um, that information. So I'm gonna say we're gonna set this at, and you can see your keypad over here has your numbers on it. So I'm gonna just set it at a low rate for right now of 20 cc's. And you do have an arrow you can move down, but you need to select okay in order for it to save the information. So I put in 20, I'm gonna hit okay. My volume to be infused, I'm gonna hit 950 hit OK, and then from here I can hit Run. It's going to tell me that I need to open my slide clamp and I need to release this one up here, OK? And open that, make sure that's open. So then I'm going to hit Run, and it's going to ask me again, check all my connections, make sure everything is open, and it is. And it'll ask you to look for drips in the chamber, and they're there, so I'm gonna hit yes. And then it's gonna tell you what's infusing. Now, if I wanted to change the rate of the infusion without stopping the pump, what I could do is go into review and I can um, see what my current rate is at. If I go into options, that's gonna show me my alarm settings. And then if I go into titrate, that is where I'm gonna be able to change my rate without stopping my pump. So I'm gonna to go to, let's say 100, hit okay. And then as soon as it loads it, you'll see my rate change to 100. So I'm gonna actually go back here, switch this back to 20 so I don't have a puddle on the floor. Oops. Titrate 20. Okay. And there we go. I think I hit stop by accident before. All right. Now, if I wanted to change the volume to be infused, let's say I have this running and the bag is empty and now I need to change the bag out. 
All right, so I can go into titrate and see this little VTBI down here, I can hit that and I can change that to my new bag amount, okay? So I'll just switch that to 980 and hit okay. And then that will change my volume to be infused. Now if I, okay, so if I wanted to go ahead and run a bolus, what I could do is hit bolus and then I'll put in my amount for the bolus. So I'll say just 100 cc's just for the example and I'll hit okay. And then the time I'm gonna put in over 10 minutes and I'll hit okay. And then I'll say press run to start bolus. So I can do that and that bolus will start running. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cancel that bolus just for the sake of the demonstration. <clears throat> so now we're back to our primary infusion. So now let's say we wanted to program a secondary, all right? So to program a secondary, we actually do stop the pump, all right, for this secondary. And then what we can do is go to review programs and then do program secondary. And then it's gonna ask us for what the name of our secondary is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do vancomycin and A. So I just put VA and then it'll show me um, vancomycin and I can just go to the one that um, I need to select. I'm gonna do vanco greater than one gram and I'm gonna do um, 1500 milligrams and hit okay. And then it's gonna ask me, is this correct? I'm gonna say yes. And then it's gonna give me an alert that says for doses greater than one gram, infusion rates less than two hours may cause red man syndrome. And I'm just gonna exit out of that. And then what we'll do, we wanna run it as a secondary, so we're gonna hit okay. And then it's gonna ask us about our rate. So the prompt will pre-program the rate in there. Um, you can check the bag for the rate as well. Um, but if all that looks okay, um, our rate is at 140, our vo volume to be infused is 280, and then our time is over two hours. And so we have to press through okay for all those before we can start it. So I'm gonna hit okay, 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 and then I'm gonna hit run, okay? And then it's gonna ask me if I wanna call back at the end of the secondary, and that's always a good idea to choose yes, so we can make sure that our um, primaries, primary is continuing to infuse. Okay, so then we just wanna make sure that all of our clamps are undone, and then it'll start pulling from the secondary, and we wanna just make sure we have the drops in the secondary chamber there. And we can say yes, and then it'll start running that infusion. And you can see um, the 140, is the rate of the vancomycin. You can see vancomycin is running up here. And then the telephone just means it's gonna call us back when that infusion is done. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just stop that. And I'm going to go ahead and, so um, I'm gonna keep that running for a sec. I'm gonna hit yes. So if I wanted to lock the keypad, that's what I wanted to show you. If I wanted to lock the keypad, um, the code is 429. So what I can do is I can do 429, okay? And you'll get a message that the keypad is locked. So when the keypad is locked, I can still review my programming, but I cannot start or stop the pump, okay? So, to unlock the keypad, I just do that same code. So 429, and now the keypad is unlocked, and if I needed to go in and um, uh, adjust the settings, I can do that. And then the last thing I'm gonna show is how you uh, clear the infusion pump. So I'm gonna stop that. And if I wanna clear my pump, because we should be clearing our pump at the end of the shift, I could hit that clear pump. Okay, and then it's gonna ask me, do I wanna clear the secondary or primary or both? Um, and I'll choose both. And are you sure you wanna clear both? I would say yes. Okay. 
Um, just be sure before you clear the pump, you do review the settings so you can look at that volume to be infused piece of it. Um, <clears throat> and then of course, we'd wanna unload our tubing and to unload the tubing, this goes into here and then that will pop that tubing open and you can remove that tubing. You can close the door and then you can power it off. Okay, and it'll turn off. And that's you know, the basic information on how to use our Sigma Spectrum IV pumps.